And also, <laughs> I'm very pleased with this. The first one that I printed was not quite as I was. Quite the personal, preferable thing. What am I saying? I'm very pleased with this. So this is the first the first one that I printed was not quite as I was quite the personal preferable thing. What am I saying? I don't like the first one that I printed. That's it. Okay. I pasted it. Uh it just I'm not satisfied by it. So this is a quiblet. It was, it is a magazine written by uh, Lovegood, is it, Mr. Lovegood? Written? No, publicate, publi, public. What? No, God, please no. Published, published by Lovegood. So Muggle Magic was so fun to follow because he did. All of this here, the moon frogs, treasure or travesty. Moon frogs, mysterious and rare, they live in the moon and are very much like earth frogs, only they jump considerably higher. Moon frogs were discovered by blah blah blah. He's such a talented person. I think the Quibbler also comes with these glasses, but I can't find it. Yeah, there. So this was the first copy, and then there's the other. This was uh, exactly the same, only that it looks more seamless here. Yeah, that's why I like them. Oh, here we've got the Alvendis wand. Oh god, I loved all of this before. Apparently, I don't really read everything that I printed. So yeah, I just do it for fun. And also, I did this bookmark says Hufflepuff. And then there is the Hogwarts school logo. The... What was it? Em emblem or something. Okay. That was the printed copy. And then we move on to the next book that I bought from the Wizarding, Wizarding World. Yeah, Wizarding World. So I can't remember the the exact uh, sequence of me buying all of this, but I've got the Tales of Beetle the Bard. Tales of Beetle the Bard, Quidditch over the years. No! Through the years. No! I mean, Quidditch through the ages, okay? Okay. Uh, and then we've got Fantastic Beast! And where to find them? Newt's Commander. This is the book. This is the sort of. Uh, oh, what was it? Textbooks, yeah. Textbooks for. Uh, you know when you. <laughs> when you. <laughs> Freaking someone just called! and interrupted me for the third time in this video I'm so pissed where was I? so I bought three of this book the Newt's Commander uh, Fantastic Beasts and where to find it so if you go to Hogwarts and then they listed uh, the books that you have to bring for first year, second, third until six, I think I've also printed out my own letter, but I can't find it, so here we are. So we have, oh my god, I love this. I loved reading everything from this book. Knowing the creatures like Acromantula. <laughs> One more sound and you wish you'd never been born, boy. 
this is just great and there's also a bigger version of this fantastic beast book but i can't remember if i bought it or not because it was hella expensive but kiv there so the other book is quidditch through the ages and here as the name suggests everything that has to do with quidditch the history and all and it also comes with the hogwarts library thing signed by Her uh ron weasley ranger and the due date so apparently ronald weasley stinks and he has been overdue the arrival of the golden snitch so yeah it's basically all the history that jk rowling made up jk rowling wrote okay apparently these days i just had something with jk rowling sorry i don't know why but maybe because of fantastic beast because everyone reviewed them so badly and then i just follow with the boat i guess i hop in the boat that they were sailing in get you know what i mean okay okay the other one is the tales of beetle the bard it's like a storybook for the kids we are known to cinderella the uh, beauty and the beast or something so in the visiting world we have the tales of beetle the bard there are how many stories in here one two three four five books i mean stories inside of this book so we have the wizard and the hopping pot the fountain of fair fortune the warlocks harry heart bubbity bubbity <coughs> sorry bubbity rabbity and her cackling stump the tale of the three brothers so where is the tales of the beetle so the tales of beetle the bones is a collection of stories written for young wizards and witches there have been the popular bedtime reading for centuries with the result that the hopping pot and the fountain of air fortune are as familiar to many of the students at hogwarts as cinderella and sweeping beauty are to muggle non-magical children Beetle's story resemble our fairy tales in many respects. For instance, virtue is usually reward rewarded and wickedness is punished. Yeah, it's like so the the bard wait what what did I just read? So it's like a uh, moral of the story for children. Uh Beetle's story. Beetle the Bard lived in the 15th century and much of his life remained shrouded in mystery. La 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 la. Yeah. You have to buy this book because it's. The Wizarding World is so much fun if you explore it. It's much more. It's like a universe, okay? It's so fun. So, I've shown you almost everything except for this one. This is the most expensive, I think. The Harry Potter A History of Magic. It cost 176 ringgit in popular. I most probably get discount for this, so maybe it's 100 something. Still, such an expensive thing. Well, it is worth for the money because the the page is nice ah it smells good as well look at this quality <laughs> but i haven't read through all of it yeah here is the bookmark i've read like oh, almost half of this through so i'm on page 110 there are there are there are 247 maybe much less uh, yeah that's the number of pages or well, maybe i read everything but i reread it i don't remember but it's kind of fun knowing this history you know when you're just you just don't want to read the history book that you're supposed to read for your exam but instead you read a history of magic book it's just insane 
because when we are forced to do something we don't want to do it when we are not forced to do we want to do it so badly I just don't understand why and it's like if I'm suddenly wanting to know about the history of Malaysia and suddenly it just occurred to me that oh my god I must read this I must know I will do whatever it takes so that I can learn everything yeah the thing is that the harsh thing is that you are not you cannot be uh, forced to do something you have to be doing it willingly because you want it so an advice would be whenever you're facing something just change your intentions change your perspective on looking at it and uh, instead of doing something because i'm forced to do it because i want to get a's i am forced to get a's instead you just need to think in your head that i want to get a's because i want to be successful and i want to do this for myself and make sure that you really want to do that yeah so whenever you want to do something you will by hook or by crook you will try to figure out how to do it if you're sleepy when you're reading the books you'll be drawing or something you'll be in the past i've been like imagining is imagining even the word to describe it i've been uh if let's say there's a process that I need to remember so I'll be putting the image inside my head so that the process is from here and there and then and there so that I can remember exactly why because yeah I, apparently I'm passionate about that it, it's most likely biology yeah so I've been rambling my throat is hurt and I'm hungry so I guess I'll wrap it up for the video. Yeah, don't forget to follow my socials. It will be linked down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on the post notifications. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!